Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese chip. Chinese domestic chips have been working hard to improve, have corresponding research results on CPU and GPU, and continue to strengthen the layout of design, manufacturing, packaging and other industries. In addition, good news came from domestic manufacturers again. The first 100% purely domestic DPU chip was successfully developed and successfully lit. So what is a DPU chip? What are the effects? Domestic manufacturers, ice-breaking DPU. In the chip industry, CPU and GPU are the most common types of chips. The former is a central processing unit, and the latter is a graphics processing unit. They are respectively responsible for general computing and accelerated computing, which are essential components in terminal products, such as mobile phones, computers, tablets, and servers. The performance of the equipment depends largely on the level of craftsmanship of the two. Now humans can realize the 4 nanometers chip manufacturing process, and the CPU and GPU produced have reached a peak. The SOC processors integrated by these chips are installed on large and small products and sold to the market. However, as the demand for data processing operations increases, the CPU and GPU become somewhat insufficient. Especially in large-scale computing power scenarios such as data centers, many network protocol processing, encryption and decryption, and data compression all require new carriers to share the computing power pressure of CPU and GPU. Under such circumstances, DPU came into being. The so-called DPU is actually not difficult to understand. This is the abbreviation of Data Processing Unit, which is responsible for providing computing engines for computing scenarios on the underlying basis. The CPU, GPU, and DPU have joined forces to form an iron triangle relationship and jointly guarantee computing around large-scale computing power scenarios such as data centers. It is conceivable that the emergence of DPU will completely change the data center, artificial intelligence, and smart car industries, and it is for this reason that manufacturers at home and abroad are actively deploying DPU. For example, NVIDIA released the Bluefield 3 DPU data processor in April 2021, which can bring various services such as network and storage to the customer market and perfectly combines artificial intelligence with accelerated computing. It's just that although the product is good, it is a foreign company after all. Under the supervision of the United States, NVIDIA has already stated its position that some advanced products cannot be provided to the outside world at will. However, Biden did not expect that domestic manufacturers have already broken the ice with DPU. It is reported that the domestic manufacturer, Jonka Yushu officially announced that the self-developed DPU chip has been successfully lit. The chip product name is K2 which is the second generation of DPU independently developed by Zhongka Yushu. Small consumption and other characteristics. It is worth mentioning that this is the first DPU chip in the form of ASIC with relatively complete functions in China. In order to develop K2, Junka Yushu has made a lot of efforts to actively adapt to various storage, edge technology, cloud-native, and other scenarios. 
With DPU becoming a hot topic in the industry, the ice-breaking good news from Zhongke Yushu is of great significance, and it is no longer afraid of being blocked by the United States. And from the perspective of technology, mature manufacturing processes are industrially controllable, which is good for the landing and application of continued products. What is the future prospect of DPU chips? Perhaps many people are relatively unfamiliar with DPU chips, but it is understandable that this is an emerging chip industry that has only attracted attention in the past few years. As a brand new data processor, it will become another rising star after CPU and GPU and become the hands-off in the data center and edge computing industry. So what is the future prospect of DPU chips? The answer is obvious. The functional modules of the DPU determine that its future will not be ordinary. DPU shares the important processing work of CPU and GPU, and it is still hard work that cannot be replaced. Anyone who has an understanding of chips knows that different chips have different work content. Originally, human chips only had CPUs in history, which performed calculation processing under the basic computer functions and gave feedback to commands input by keyboard and mouse. Since then, with the rise of industries such as games, video rendering, and 3D design, the CPU has been unable to complete larger graphics processing tasks. As a result, a GPU chip dedicated to graphics processing appeared, providing computing support in graphics and video processing. The higher the high-end GPU, the greater the graphics computing power it carries. This is why game lovers pay more attention to GPU graphics products, because large-scale games often consume more graphics card performance. Up to now, there are more scenarios for humans to use chips, and they are no longer limited to simple mobile phones and computer operations. The computing power demand of the data center is in the trillions, and the annual Spring Festival travel ticket rush, 11, is a great test for the computing power of the data center. In the future, the rise of artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, 5G and other industries will inevitably require greater computing support. The CPU and GPU alone cannot undertake the infrastructure work. Otherwise, if this part of the work is shared, the power consumption will increase and the computing power will be bottlenecked. So starting from 2020, DPU has become a popular track in the chip industry. With the DPU, the data center can reduce energy consumption and save costs when sending and receiving data. The cost of upgrading the CPU and GPU in the industry is no more cost-effective than installing an additional DPU chip. What is certain is that DPU is expected to become the benchmark of the future chip industry and play a huge role in the construction of digital and intelligent industries. It is expected that domestic manufacturers can continue to make progress in DPU. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.